Some small events lead to major global impacts and the event of a small wrong turn by a vehicle looks the same as most of us might think of it as something trivial. But it isn't. See, back in 1914, a wrong turn by the vehicle carrying their heir to the Austro-Hungarian Empire changed the global scenario forever. Many will wonder how it happened. The open vehicle carrying the Austro-Hungarian heir to the throne was hit with a grenade, but he survived, as the car in the convoy was hit. Instead of canceling plans, he continued with it to visit the hospital where the injured of the incident were being treated. But nature had some other plans. Guess what? The driver unintentionally took the wrong street and was asked to return, and a big surprise was awaiting. Coincidentally, a Serbian terrorist was standing there in the street where they were to pass. What happened here not only led to an assassination, but the unraveling of global events that would claim more than 20 million lives. Before moving to the assassination and its impacts, let's have a look into its background. The Austro-Hungarian Empire was one of the major global powers back in the early 1900s. Though on decline, it still had considerable impact on global events. It had recently annexed Bosnia and Herzegovina in 1908, which led to a strong disapproval from the people of this region. Though this region was formerly part of the Ottoman Empire, it was ruled by Austria-Hungary since 1878. When it was formally annexed by Austria-Hungary, it led to discontent in the resident Slavs who wanted a country of their own. Also, the ethnic Slavs in Serbia wanted to annex this province in order to expand their state. This complex situation resulted in the emergence of a Serbian terrorist organization called Black Hand that wanted to annex Bosnia-Herzegovina to Serbia. Founded by Colonel Draganic Dmitrijevic, the primary aim of this organization was to liberate ethnic Serbians from Ottoman or Austro-Hungarian rule. The membership of this program grew as discontented Slavs rallied to liberate their homeland. Archduke Franz Ferdinand was the Inspector General of the Imperial Army and personally despised Slavs. He would call them scoundrels and would later have personal consequences for him. Gavrilo Princip, the terrorist who would kill Archduke Franz Ferdinand, was a member of Black Hand. He came to know of the official visit of the Archduke in June 1914 and planned accordingly. Though only a teenager, his two bullets fired would lead to crumbling of three empires and redrawing of Europe's map. He was there in the street where the vehicle carrying the Archduke would return. The fateful day was June 28, 1914. Earlier this day, another Black Hand member, Nijelko Kabrinovic, made an attempt to attack the royal entourage by throwing a bomb at it. This explosion led to bouncing off a car and falling the royals. But luck had another chance for Gavrilo Princip. The car returned and Princip didn't take a moment to do what he intended. He took out a pistol, fired two close-range shots, and bang. Onlookers saw the Archduke fall while the princess held him. But another surprise would follow in moments. The princess, Sophie, Duchess von Hohenberg, was also injured by one of the bullets. She succumbed to the injury in minutes. Two royals of the Habsburg family were lying dead amid the stunned onlookers. Movies like Sarajevo, 1914, depict the assassination in a realistic manner, showing the stunned officials looking at the unfolding events. The moment of glory was there for Black Hand, which had hit its prime target. But it wasn't something to celebrate. A train of gory events was to follow, soon, that would last for years. The die was cast, and some inevitable events were to follow. There were personal costs for the assassin, Gavrilo Princip, as well as his homeland. In addition, these consequences would lead to a set of global events ending up the world in a global war. As soon as he fired the bullets, personal guards of the prince arrested him. Princip was put on a trial in Sarajevo and was sentenced to 20 years of imprisonment. This was the maximum penalty for a person below the age of 20 charged for murder back in the day. Princip wouldn't complete his years of imprisonment because of tuberculosis. He was shifted to a hospital where he died on April 28, 1918. Though he caused great turbulence on a global level and died in imprisonment, he is held as the national hero by the Serbs. There were some global consequences of this event. The first of these was the July Crisis, which started with an ultimatum from Austria-Hungary to Serbia to hand over those responsible or otherwise get ready for war. Serbia was blue-eyed boy of the Russian Empire 
then, and it would drag Russians to this matter as well. The time given for the ultimatum was only a mere 48 hours, while the terms were too harsh. Germans were also waiting for a response and expected the war to begin soon. As Russia was in alliance with Britain and France, any wrong move would result in a total war. Furthermore, there were many other reasons which could easily spark flames of war. The Austro-Hungarian Archduke's death proved to be the spark that brought various rivals against each other into the battlefield. Some of these major events which fueled the Germany and its allies against the Triple Entente, which were Britain, France, and Russia, which included the naval arms race between Britain and Germany, the Irish Home Rule, tensions in Europe due to changing balance of power, issues regarding overseas colonies, as well as the Russo-Japanese War. Along with these reasons, there was a general belief that a great war was approaching that would put an end to all wars. It is for this reason that World War I was named the Great War, or a war to end all wars. Secretly, Germany was getting ready to wage a war because it would give her strategic leverage. Though Britain and others had offered to lower tensions, Germany played a role in inflaming the war. Her leaders urged Austria-Hungary to be, quote, aggressive, and not appear weak. July 24th, 1914 was the fateful day that led to the mobilization of Serbian forces which feared declaration of war from the Austro-Hungarian Empire the next day. On July 25th, 1914, Emperor Franz Joseph of Austro-Hungary ordered the mobilization of troops to start operations in Serbia. Thus, a full-blown war that would entangle all major powers including Germany, Austro-Hungary, France, Russia, Britain, and the Ottoman Empire. A timeline shows major events of the war. July 25, 1914, Austria-Hungary declares war on Serbia. August 2nd to the 7th in 1914, German invasion of Luxembourg and Belgium. August 10th, 1914, Austro-Hungarian invasion of Russia. September 9, 1914. Allied forces prevent German invasion of France. February 18, 1915, German naval blockade of Britain. May 23, 1915, Italy declares war against Austria-Hungary. April 6, 1917, U.S. declares war on Germany. November 11, 1918, Germany signs armistice. A single event started a global war and left lasting impacts on international geopolitics. In addition to that, the human tragedy of this war is also undeniable. Apart from the 20 million deaths on both sides, there were 21 million who were left wounded. Some of them were left permanently disabled. Trench warfare, mustard gas, mortar shells, mechanized warfare, shell shock, and etc. are some of the horrible reminders of this war. The chauffeur driving the royal car or Gavrilo Princip wouldn't have thought that their single step would cost this much. If they were aware that the fact that they would unleash this many horrors due to a single mistake, they would have taken every possible step to ensure that the mistake doesn't take place. World War I came to an end after four years of hell, from 1914 through 1918, leaving a sense of disillusionment with modernization. The impacts of a single misstep, a wrong turn from a driver, resulted in events like regrouping of major global powers, fall of three empires, which were the Russian Empire, the Ottoman Empire, as well as the Austria-Hungarian Empire, and changes to the map of Europe. The last of these resulted in the emergence of new countries as the vanquished couldn't keep their territory. Many new nations states were born as the result of World War I. Some of these include Poland, Finland, Estonia, Latvia, Belarus, Ukraine, and Lithuania, Austria, Hungary, and etc. Thus, the firing of two bullets had a domino effect resulting in various bigger events. But the story doesn't stop here. There were some other major events to follow. The end of World War I didn't bring an end to the problems created by this wrong turn. A global financial crisis began in 1929 as global powers didn't agree on an international system resulting in collapse of major economies. It also led to the entry of America to the global scenario which had previously adopted the officially isolationist policy. Great Britain, one of the leading powers, wasn't able to maintain its hegemony and gradually lost its powers and colonies. World War II also attributed to this, killing as the situation didn't normalize. Rather, tensions continued, resulting in the German invasion of Poland in September 1939. Another big impact is the continued arms race resulting from World War I, which led to the development of nuclear bombs putting global human at risk. Sometimes, 
times there are ifs and buts, but that can change. But again, let's imagine how the world would have been if the chauffeur hadn't taken a wrong turn or Gavrilo Princip hadn't fired the two shots. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel to know more about events that left a lasting impact on the world.